Today in Mike's greenhouse, my pumpkin has found a temporary home. My plants are developing. My early bird and mini pop sweet corn have found a new home. And my radishes have germinated. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mike's greenhouse. So today I've had a bit of a problem. So I came into my greenhouse to find that all of my plants are growing very quickly. It's not a bad thing, but they're growing very quickly, too quickly really, because I can't find a place for them. So I'm going to have to find a decent place to put them very soon. As you can see, these are quite big now compared to my finger. Whereas before I could go like that and you couldn't see them. Now <laughs> you can see them. So it's not a bad thing, as I say, but I do need to find a place for those soon. Which brings me on to my second problem, my pumpkin. Obviously, if it doesn't grow enough now, because the roots have run out of space, it's going to stop growing. And obviously, it's not going to do so well. So this, the grow bag is going to be its home now, until, hopefully, with a bit of luck, it fruits into a pumpkin, even though it doesn't really fruit, but still until I get a pumpkin out of it but obviously it can't stay in the greenhouse but I'm leaving it in here for now because I where I'm going to put it is out here and obviously it's a bit of a mess and I'm waiting for the hinges to get put back on and some leaks to be fixed because my greenhouse is full of leaks at the minute so I can't do anything because I'm afraid that it will get trampled on and also it is quite cold out there still, so it could kill the pumpkin. And I don't want that, because it's my only pumpkin. So for now, this is where, in the green acid, where it's going to be. So, it's a little annoying, but hey, it's not hurting anybody. As you can see, my uh, secondary leaves, or the proper leaves, are now starting to form on my marigolds. Which is... Uh, Wow, it's a good, great step, because really from the start of this channel, there's always been an update really every day on these marigolds. I've watched them, well, I've watched all these, most of these plants grow from little buds but and seeds. But it's, it's nice to see these ones, because they've made quite a lot of progress, and they've been the, well, they've been growing longest. Then, moving to the right, we have our sweet pea. As you can see, they have grown again. So, these are the fastest growing I found out at the minute. And I've unfortunately overtook my marigolds by this point. But I do like sweet pea. And obviously, there aren't so many. So, it's not going to be that overwhelming when they all, <laughs> when they all get ready to sell. But here's my finger to them. So, they've grown a lot. Since I last filmed them, as you can see, you've just they've just got their secondary and I think third leaves there as well, which I can't wait for them to form. Still no update with these, not really surprising anymore. I've sort of given up with these. But I'm gonna leave them here because you never know they, they might grow, but it's starting to mould and not mould, but it's not looking too good. Moving on, mixed pansies, they've grown even more, and they're looking quite, quite nice now. Uh, they've got quite fat leaves, almost like, almost like a heart shape almost, but they look really nice, so glad I got these. Now, these are, I'm very impressed with, because uh, they have grown so much. For ages there was nothing, and then suddenly, one or two popped up, an hour later a load more popped up. Um, last video I had like 14 and it always felt like while well, I was counting and more were coming up obviously they weren't but it did feel like that so as you can see they are growing very well now and I am very impressed so I can't really complain except there is a lot which is not a bad thing or I can sell really but it's good to know that they've grown in a little bit like yeah so, still nothing on the courgettes, but obviously these were pl only planted on the 3rd, whereas everything else was planted on the 26th. 
So, I'm not expecting anything yet, because obviously the seeds are quite large. So, obviously slightly bigger plant's going to come out. Not much is happening here, but I'll give you a bit of a quick update. This one is growing even more every day I come in here. And I get it right in there. You can just see the little buds that will eventually form strawberries, which is always good. So I've now found a home for my corn, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, as you can see, at the front here, I have my early bird. And the two back ones are both mini pots. I like saying that mini pop. <laughs> uh, so they've they've grown quite well. Uh, again, when I took these out, their pots, the roots, just like the pumpkin, really, were starting to circle around the edge, which means they did need repotting. So I'm I'm impressed with them. They're doing well. Couldn't really complain. Just can't wait for them to grow a bit because until they do, I'm going to be a bit wear, wary when I'm going around. This is where I'm going to plant my tomatoes. I'm going to plant, I think, nine here and maybe four here. Uh, so, and I might have a few going along here, but I've got to be careful that I don't run out of room with the roof. So, as you can see, there are lots of leaks. But hey, keeps it uh, moist in there, I suppose. <laughs> Moving on to our radishes, you can see that they are starting to germinate and grow. So I am really impressed with this because I planted those very, very recently. So I'm amazed how quickly they've grown and hopefully there will be a lot more growth. And if I go around to the other side where I planted even more, you can see there are a few weeds but mainly that is radishes. So I am very, very impressed. And uh, glad, really, because, well, who doesn't like a radish? Thank you all for watching this video, and please leave your support, uh, likes, and subscribe, and please do comment as well, because if you have any ideas, questions, anything like that, I would be glad to address them in my next videos. Or in the comments below. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.